and a lot of people made some great observations about our weather station. Good morning, Modern Steaders. It's another Friday. And you know what that is? Friday is Modern Steader Update. It's about eight degrees out today and our weather station is telling us right now it feels about five degrees out with the wind chill. So you know what? Let's put some more wood in the wood stove. Let's make sure the house stays nice and warm. We've all been feeling a little under the weather lately, so trying to make sure the house stays warm today. We've been trying to eat a lot of soups in the last few days that we've made from scratch and made the bone broth from our pasture-raised chicken. And I'll tell you what, it's been delicious. I am a soup and a stew guy. One of the reasons I really enjoy winter is you can eat all those good hearty foods. I think Figaro thinks the whole basement's his jungle gym. Is that what you think? Do you think this whole basement is your jungle gym? I have a good progress report on the celery seeds. Just last night I noticed they started sprouting. I'm excited. Look at that. Oh man, that's beautiful. That excites me because just yesterday while I was working, I was thinking, man, my celery seeds have been put in the soil blocks for over 10 days and they haven't germinated. When I came home, I sprayed them down, watered them, and I noticed that. So I was excited to see making good progress. We're having good luck so far in our growing season this year. We're giving the fodder a break for now. The reason we're doing that is the other day I was thinking the house is way too dry. And it's a fighting battle right now, trying to keep those wet and watered. If I keep them covered, they're not getting any airflow on them, so they're getting mold, and I don't want that for the animals either. And then once we put the weather station in, I really went, yep, that's the right decision. It's like 30% humidity in the house. We gotta work on getting that up. One of the ways we're doing that is we're keeping a big pot of water on the wood stove. We're just about at 19,000 subscribers. Thank you, Modern Steaders. And when we hit 20,000 subscribers, we're gonna be giving away our automatic chicken plucker. And that excites me because we'll be giving away our chicken plucker before chicken harvesting season this year. So one lucky Modern Steader is gonna be processing their chickens and not having to hand pluck this year. That's gonna be fun for them. If you wanna enter the giveaway, I'm gonna put a link here in the description down below. Let's check on the cave. The moisture's down in here too, 37%. Man, <sighs> we gotta work on that. But the temperature's holding good, 34, I like that. It's keeping our potatoes nice and fresh. Squashes are staying good. Every time the local food co-op has potatoes on sale, we pick up an extra bag because we have a great place to store them now. The kombucha stays nice and fresh down here. The pot and soil's in here to keep it away from Figaro. Man, that cat likes to chew on everything. He better not chew on our copa or our prosciutto. That's looking nice. Our concrete countertop has dried up nicely. I just gotta work on our finish on that. We should be doing that in the next few days. I've been experimenting with something on the top edge. Not gonna tell you what that is yet. I think it's gonna look good. I'm excited to get the countertop finished. I think Gina and Olivia are too. We're all looking forward to being able to use our desk. Update on the DeWalt tools. We've been putting them through the paces at the house we're building for work and I've just been amazed with how long the batteries last. There's a few more tools I'd like to get my next purchase. I'm not sure for a tool what it would be. I'd really like to get a framing gun that they make. Fits the same battery system. The jigsaw that they make is very nice. I think those would be one of my two next purchases. But the other thing that I think would come in really handy is one more battery. We're gonna be working on a chicken brooder. We have some of the materials there for my original plan. 
But I think I'm gonna change it up a little bit. A lot of times when I'm making projects, I'm using materials we have around our homestead here. And I think that limits it a little bit to what other people can do. So we got designs for a new chick brooder that you can make pretty simply with all stallboard material. It's gonna kinda be like our $30 chicken coop in 30 minutes that anybody can build with going to your local Menards or Lowe's or Home Depot. One of the best parts about the chick brooder is it's gonna be module. You're gonna be able to put it together, take it apart, it's gonna lie flat in a corner of your garage, basement, wherever. That's one of my big things with a chick brooder is you only use it a couple of times a year. You don't want to have this huge monstrosity hanging around or something big that you got to store. So I think this is going to be a big game changer and I'm looking forward to making it. What do you think you're doing? Getting into everything, mister. Oh man. The weather station's working awesome. I really am enjoying the wind speed and wind direction and seeing the wind chill. Yeah, it's a little brisk out this morning. Olivia's not feeling well today and she's staying home from school. How are you feeling? Better? That's good. She's hungry, so that's a good thing. You might be asking me, why are you the one staying home with her? I'll tell you why. See right there? I work outside, and it's cold out. I really enjoy the community we have here at Lumna Acres. A couple of them were saying that it should be a little bit higher. Little White Doherty was mentioning that it needs to be higher and that the roof might be messing up the wind direction and wind speed and you need to put it on a pole. And I commented back, I guess I'll have to wait for the ground to frost. But then I was just thinking. We got a huge pole right there. I bet you our meat pole would work perfectly to mount our weather station on top of. That's, I think, 18 feet up in the air. I just need to get a good ladder. Unfortunately, our Kubota bucket doesn't reach that high. So, the wind direction arm on the bottom has plenty of room. It can swivel 360 degrees. on top of our snowbank. You can't see it, the darn sun. But it makes sense that the wind coming off the roof could mess up with the speed and the direction of the weather station. My one concern was I was thinking if it gets a lot of snow built up and it all slides off, will it take out the weather station? All right, I know. Enough chit-chat. You guys want to see the animals. Our chickens have started laying a few more eggs lately. Yesterday we got four. Been getting three the last few days. Gina informed me that we actually have a whole dozen eggs in the refrigerator. We haven't had that in probably a month. Good morning, chickies. How's the greenhouse treating you? The deep bedding's looking nice. Good morning, Andy. Good morning, sir. Now I want to keep building our deep bedding and then we'll take it out come springtime or move the greenhouse come springtime. And then we're going to compost all this wonderfully enriched hay and turn it into some beautiful compost for our garden. Right?
Ooh, that was a close flyby. Bye, Mr. Biggs. Let's go check on the pigs. I'll bring them their water, then I'll come back and get their food. They'll be excited for that. I want to let them out, but it looks like snow in here. But it's really just all ice. So I'm afraid if I let them out out here, they'll be sliding around and breaking a foot or something. I think I want to wait till it either all melts or we get a little bit more snow. That sounds kind of odd, but the snow will give them more traction. Good morning, girls. They're being stubborn. <laughs> they don't want to let each other out. <sighs> oh, big stretch. Guess this is the first time getting out for the morning. Is it nice and warm in there? Their hay's looking good. Let's bring some more feed out for them. Let's go get them the food scraps. Girls, smell that. Whoa, glad I moved the camera. All right, let's bring everything back in the house. We'll go get another bag of grain for them and make sure they have plenty of food out here to keep them warm and keep them growing. Right? You cold? You got cold feet? You're ready to go in, aren't you? How's that cereal? Meh. Keeping an eye on us? Alright girls, stay warm, eat up, and grow some nice pasture-raised bacon for us. It's a nice, beautiful, clear day out today. <sighs> oh yeah? Since we're not feeling 100% today, 
What is better for us than some homemade chicken noodle soup made with our own pasture raised chickens? This bone broth is going to be so good for us. How's your chicken noodle soup? Good. Good? Feeling any better? Yeah. You look better. You don't look as pale. You gotta make sure to drink your broth. I'll tell you what, these homemade egg noodles you made are pretty darn good. Pretty good, ain't it? Fix my nose right now. Well, I enjoyed my soup. Hopefully that hails you up and makes you feel better. So, now is a great time to subscribe to our channel. While you're down there, hit the bell button and that'll turn on notifications so YouTube will let you know every time we upload, go live, or post something to the community tab. We'll see you right back here tomorrow at from the Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. Bye.